Supplements in poultry feeds are added to develop and complete the nutritional value of poultry feeds so as to ensure maximum production in our poultry farming. In layer feeds, calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D are very important for production of quality eggs. That is why in today's video, I'm going to discuss about how we can utilize the calcium in the egg shells from our chickens. I am going to tell you how to prepare egg shells and, pre and feed them to our chickens as a source of calcium and especially for the layers. I'm also going to tell you the amount of calcium you should include in the layer feeds and also give you advantages of using eggshells as the primary source of calcium for your layers over using other sources of calcium for example limestone. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Make sure also that you hit the like button because that is very good for the YouTube algorithm which helps it to push our videos to more farmers so that they can be able also to access this valuable information. If you have any suggestion or questions, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section below. Lack of enough calcium in the layer chicken diet causes four main problems. And number one is that a lack of enough calcium causes a laying of thin shelled eggs. And we know that thin shell eggs will uh, break easily and this will lead to losses. And number two, another problem of lack of enough calcium in the layer chicken is that there will be a decrease in egg production. Uh, also, lack of enough calcium will lead to cannibalism. Uh, the fourth problem is that lack of enough calcium in the layer chicken will lead to egg eating. These problems will definitely incur losses in your poultry farming. Uh, to avoid all these problems, that is why today I'll give you an easily accessible and cheap source of calcium and that is a calcium from the egg shells. A uh, laying hens uh, require 3.4 grams to 3.8 grams of calcium per day, failure to which some problems like the ones I've previously mentioned will arise. Uh, egg shells make uh, make 11% of the total weight of the whole egg. Eggshell powder contain majorly calcium, uh, which is usually 36%, among other uh, major minerals. Also, the eggshell powder contain uh, proteins and vitamins. Uh, the most important vitamins found in the eggshell powder are, are the vitamin D, vitamin A, and vitamin E. Eggshell powder also contain fats and cholesterol. These are the nutritional additives that you will not find in the other sources of calcium, uh, for example limestone. Therefore, uh, this makes the eggshell powder one of the best source of calcium uh, for the layers. Eggshells can cheaply be gotten uh, from the hatcheries and also the eateries. For, for example, uh, restaurants where a lot of eggs are consumed each and every day, you can be able to access eggshells from those eateries. After getting these eggshells, how are we going to prepare them and add them into our layer feeds? Uh, here is how you go about it. Number one, you're going to wash the eggshells using the clean tap water. After that, now you're going to sterilize them. Uh, because uh, we deal with organic poultry farming, I advise you to sterilize by boiling so as to kill any pathogens, that is, uh, the bacteria that can be found in these eggshells and that can cause diseases. After sterilizing, that is through boiling, you are going to dry the eggshells and grind them into powder form. And now it is in this powder form that now you can add them into the layer feed formulations. And make sure that the particles do not exceed the size of 10 millimeters. The average range of particle size should be from less than 2 millimeters up to 5 millimeters. This size is very good because after the layers feed these shells, you'll find that some of these eggshell particles will be left in the gizzard. And these particles that have been left in the gizzard will be digested gradually. Therefore, they will end up providing calcium for the layers for a longer time even at the time when the layers are not feeding and this will help to boost egg production and egg quality.
make sure that you click at the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to boost an egg laying in your layers by feeding them with the green tea leaf powder.